Hello, everyone. Listen quietly, and I'll tell you a story from the Animal Quackers Popland Storybook. I'll tell you about the day we taught Donny the Duck how to dance. It all really started when we met Donny going through the wood. I'm no good at hopping and gliding, said Donny, and the only slipping and sliding I do is down the bank into the river. I just can't seem to dance at all. But you want to dance? asked Bongo. Of course, said the duck. That's good, said Boots cheerily, because that's half the battle. The fact that you want to dance. If you add to that desire a little bit of training, you'll gradually gain experience and be a very good dancer, said I. But where will I get such training? asked Donny. The dance school, of course, answered Twang. The next day, all of us animal quackers met Donny at the school and introduced him to the dance teacher, the Funky Chicken. Yes, that's her name, the Funky Chicken. After Donny the duck had removed his yellow Wellington boots that he always wore, no time was lost in getting started. And soon Donny and the Funky Chicken proceeded to do a little twist. But the poor old duck, that's Donny, ended up with his legs wound round each other and walking around in a daze. How about another dance? said Boots. Good idea, said the Funky Chicken, putting on another record. How about this one? They call it the Hustle. So Donny and the Funky Chicken took to the floor once more and started to glide together, and, and all seemed well at first. But the second time round the dance floor, Donny trod on his own foot and went hopping all over the floor, quacking in agony. That's the best thing he's done yet, baby, commented Bongo with a chuckle. At least he looks like he's doing the bop. The duck was in such pain he never noticed he was heading for his dancing partner, the funky chicken, who was so carried away with the music that she didn't observe that Donny the duck was coming straight for her. Bump! The two animals thudded together. Wow, <laughs> that's not the way to do the bump, he said Twang. This left a rather funny sight of two dazed birds, the duck and the funky chicken reeling and rocking all over the place. Once we were all able to stop laughing, we took the funky chicken and Donny the duck to seats just on the side so that they could recover. After they had recovered, Donny spoke. It's no good. I'll never be able to dance. That's not true, said the funky chicken. All you need is a, a little confidence. Once you know you can do it, you'll be all right. That's true, said I. Have a little rest and then have another dance. Donny the duck agreed reluctantly. Meanwhile, outside the studio, Twang put a plan into operation to help Donny to believe in himself. He had noticed that Donny's wellies were just standing by the dance floor. And so he took them outside and he took his magic guitar and played a few magical notes into each of the boots. Inside the studio, Donny and the Funky Chicken were about to try again. Wait a minute, said Twang, rushing in with the Wellington boots. Put these on and I'm sure you'll find that they will help. Donny started to dance with the boots on and gradually we saw the improvement. First of all, he did the hustle, puffing his chest out and swaggering to and fro all round the floor. Then he flapped his wings like the Funky Chicken with his head moving forwards and backwards as he progressed. His confidence grew and grew, and he added a step here and a movement there, which together with his emphatic duck waddle and excited quack quack became a dance all of his own. Yes, he was doing the quack. Of course, the effect of the magical notes in the boots wore off, but Donny the duck had gained that confidence he needed, and now he can dance anything you can name but as long as he's got his Wellingtons on.